Hey everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so today's video is going to be a resin uh, video on uh, some nice molds that I have, and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to the amazing ladies who came to my home workshop this past weekend on Saturday. Um, it was an absolute blast. Thank you to all of you from for coming from near and far. Um, Brenda, who came all the way from British Columbia, um, which was amazing. So um, thank you to all the lovely ladies. I do have another workshop on June 25th. That one is sold out. We have one spot left for the Fluid Art Creative Escape uh, workshop in Naples, Florida with myself and Tammy Anderson. And that one class, the one spot that's left is now Sunday morning, okay? So the Sunday evening class that I've been talking about the last couple of weeks, that spot's been filled. However, due to a cancellation, um, we now have a spot available for the Sunday, July 10th uh, morning class. One spot left. So if you'd like to join the Sunday morning class, you can email Tammy and I at fluidartescape at gmail.com and uh, yeah, so that is in Naples, Florida, for those of you who are interested. Wood Rounds, uh, I'm going to have one more week. This is going to be the last week. Uh, the the pre-orders are going to end by this weekend coming up. So if you want to order Wood Rounds, please do so before the um, time is up, okay? Um, all right, so today I am going to be working with... Uh, Crystal Resins Casting Resin. Now they have a new casting resin. It's supposed to be a nice new and improved casting resin. And so I'm going to show you guys that when I bring you guys down and get set up. And I'm going to show you some awesome goodies I have that I have received and I'm going to be using in today's video. All of which you can get a discount on. So let me get myself set up. I'm going to bring you guys down and I'm going to tell you guys all the great details and all the fun stuff we're going to be doing today. Be right back. All right, everybody. So I'm before I do anything, I'm going to tell you guys all the stuff I have here on the table, the products I'm going to be using, where you can find them and all that fun stuff. So for starters, I'm going to be using Crystal Resin's new casting resin. So it comes in these three jugs because it's a two to one ratio. So as you can see here, it says mixing ratio two to one. So two parts of A and one part of B. So that's why you get two of these and one of these. So you get these really big jugs. Oh, you also get, what did I do with it? I knew I was forgetting something. You get, hold on, with that, you will receive, here it is, if you buy the casting resin, you will get a scraper, one of these plastic stir sticks, and this little packet of gloves. So you get gloves with it too. So it's pretty great. So you get all this stuff in here. And here's the best part. I used to have a discount code for all of Crystal Resin products. It was a 5% discount code and the code was Canela5. However... As of today and moving forward, anytime you purchase anything off Crystal Resin, whether it's resin, pigments, molds, whatever they have on the website, you can now save 7%, okay? So the new discount code is Canela7, and that is in effect as of today. So you can purchase your resin uh, off the website and it is free shipping uh, within Canada and the US. And if you are in the US and you are purchasing Crystal Resin products, keep in mind that Crystal Resin is a Canadian-based company. So when you purchase from the website, you're buying in Canadian prices, which means when you pay, when you do the exchange rate, it actually ends up being cheaper for you Americans because of the exchange rate. So you're saving even more money. So that is the crystal resin casting resin I'm going to be using. 
And so the casting resin is specifically for resin molds where you're going to be pouring a deep mold, um, you know, resin into a mold. Um, the regular resin I use, which is this resin. All right. So this is the regular crystal resin. And this is what I use for top coating my canvases. All right. So this is what I use to top coat all my lovely paintings. And again, you can save 7% using code Canela7. All right. So next thing I wanted to show you are these silicone molds. So today I'm going to be working on this super cool uh, octopus mold. And this one is from Loli Vefi. So this one's from Loli Vefi. Go and check them out on the website and you can save 10% off all your Loli Vefi products using code Canela10. So that is where the octopus mold is from. Then if I have any leftover resin, which I'm pretty sure I will, um, I have this new mold. It's a skull. How cool is this? I actually find these things fascinating. And so this one is from the company Let's Resin. So they sent me some goodies um, and I have other goodies, but I just haven't gotten them yet. But I got this skull mold and these chameleon powders, which are super, super cool. And these are from Let's Resin. And I have a discount code for that as well, where you can save 5% off the website using code Canela5. So these chameleon powders are super cool. And I'll show you a few of them. So this one's called Magenta. And let's see, I've got some nice, oh, this one's really pretty. This one's a teal. Okay, and they're chameleon powders. So I'll show you what we're gonna do with these. Let's see here. Yeah, look at that. So this one's grape and this one's called blue. Now, they look like this one, for example, it looks white and it's called olive, which is really bizarre, right? Because you would think it's white. So what I do is I take my, I have these heart-shaped lowly Vefi molds and I dust with this brush that comes with the powders, I dust the inside of the mold with these powders. So what I did was I got, uh, there's 12 colors here. I dusted 12 hearts because I have more and I put my black resin in it. And then the next day you get to see what the colors truly look like. So for example, this one here that's called olive that looks white actually looks like this when it comes out of the mold. How beautiful is this? So this is why, so I use these now as samples. So see, I took my, um, my label maker and I wrote olive on the back. So I know that this heart is actually this powder, okay? Even though it doesn't look anything like it. So that's the olive. And I'll show you another one, for example, another pretty color, ooh, this one. So this one is teal. So let me find the teal. Okay, so here's the teal, okay? And then here's what it looks like in the heart. Oops. So how beautiful is this? So I use these now as my samples. So when I need to do something like this octopus mold or even the skull head, I now know what colors these are. So this one, this one's the blue one. Super, super pretty. Even this is pretty. This one's the magenta. Look how metallic and pretty that is. Oh yeah, look, oh there, now you can see the shimmer in it. Look at that. So these are super great. So thank you to uh, Let's Resin for sending me that. Um, so I'm just gonna put these aside really quickly and I'll show you what else I have. These are all my samples. Look at that, aren't they beautiful? So I'm missing one, I ran out of resin, so I still have to do one left. So hopefully I have enough resin in today's video to fill that one up. The next thing when working with resin is you need proper um, PPE. So I've got, which I'm not gonna wear in today's video or else you're not gonna hear me. I'm gonna sound like Darth Vader if I put this on and you won't be able to hear me. But this mask here, um, is here you go. 
So it is from Bear Woods. That is the same company I use for the sculpted panels. Um, so there is a discount code for this company in the description below. I'll also put it here and you can save on the masks. So um, this is very, very comfortable. I have this one as well. This one I actually just bought off Amazon. It's a 3M and um, this is what it looks like. So you can get them off Amazon, but I will tell you this. This is so much more comfortable and less bulkier than this one that I got off Amazon. Um, so this one is super, super comfortable. So I actually prefer using that one if I ever do use it. I do use um, the one from Bear Woods instead of this one here from Amazon. And when you're not using your mask, put it back in to a sealed bag. Um, that way it keeps the filters fresh, okay? So that way you can seal it back up, put it back in the box, and the filters are still fresh, all right? And they sell replacement filters as well. So that is from Bear Woods. If you are in a properly well-ventilated area, you don't technically have to wear this. It's whatever you're comfortable with, um, but you should wear a respirator when using resin. Um, all right, so I showed you guys the molds. I showed you guys Let's Resin. Next thing you're gonna need is some isopropyl alcohol. Okay, so this is going, to, this I get from Costco. It's 99%. The higher the percentage, the better. All right, and so what I use it for is after I put my resin in here, there are gonna be air bubbles and you never, ever, ever torch your silicone molds. Do not torch it to pop the bubbles. You will burn the mold. And then when you try to demold it the next day, the resin will be stuck to the mold and you will rip the mold and the mold will be garbage, okay? I did that in my beginner days. And then um, I, I can't remember who I learned this trick from. Oh, I can't remember. I wish I, if I do remember, I'll mention it, but I really can't remember where I got the tip from. But you just put it in a little squirt bottle from the dollar store and you'll squirt the resin and the bubbles will pop. So you need alcohol. And then um, I have my crystal resin black paste. You need to put black with these chameleon colors in order for it to show up these pretty colors. So I'm gonna be putting black paste into my resin. So, um, and of course my cups and my Loli Vefi reusable stick, which I shall use to mix my resin with because then you can just simply clean it off with an alcohol wipe um, or just spray alcohol onto a paper towel and wipe it off. Um, okay, that is it for in terms of products and where you can find everything. Everything will be listed in the description below. So you can save literally on all the products I just showed you, all of them. There's a discount code for all of it. Um, so I'm now, I don't know how much resin I'm going to need for this. So I always tend to mix extra resin. And then if I have leftovers, I put it in another mold or a smaller mold or something. So I have these little cups from the dollar store. These are nine ounce cups and I like using them because they have these ridges here. So if I fill the cup halfway, I know I'll fill the next cup up to the same ridge. So these are nine ounce cups and this is a 20 ounce cup, which might not be enough for this. I might have to do a second batch, which is okay, it's fine. Um, so first things first is you wanna pick the colors that you're gonna be putting into your mold. And so I haven't really even thought about that, but I definitely, definitely love um, this teal color here. And I think I'm gonna make the octopus head, um, maybe this beautiful blue color. I think I'm gonna do that. Um, and then I could potentially um, change the tentacles and do different colors. But I really do love this olive color as well. I really think this teal, actually, I'm going to move that out. And I think this teal and olive are going to look super pretty uh, for the tentacles. And then I can make this the head. All right. So um, I am going to 
start dusting the mold so I can show you guys, but I'm not going to do the whole thing um, in regular time. I will speed, speed it up. Um, I don't know. I actually think I just like these two colors now. I guess I should have thought about this before I started. So what if I did the head that color and then the rest of his body, this olive color, because it's so pretty. I really like it a lot. Or even like olive and green. Yeah, because this, this looks really turquoisey blue, like water. So, okay, so I'll do the head teal. So I'll show you guys that, okay? Let me just show you guys that. So here's the teal. All right. So basically, I'm just really going to dip my brush into there. And I'm going to dust the inside of the mold. Actually, I'm going to make the eyeballs a gold color. So I'm going to make his eyes a different color. So basically, I'm brushing the powder all over Mr. Octopus here. I should give him a name. I don't know what I should call him. Um, okay, so basically just dip your brush. Make sure you get all the crevices and all the cracks and brush all the pigment or the powder into the spots that you want. All right, so there's the head pretty much covered. I'm going to do the eyeballs. I think I'm gonna do them a gold color. Oh, this already looks so pretty. Look at that. Oh, this is gonna be really nice. So, all right. Now, and then, I should get a paper towel. You can use the same brush, just wipe it. You'll see there's not really much of anything that comes off of the paintbrush. Um, so I think I'm going to use, for the eyeballs, ooh, I could even use this really beautiful, what is this, the blue. Maybe I'll use the blue for the eyes. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So let me find the blue, that's great. And nope, yeah, here it is. So here's the blue. So I shall dust just the eyeballs, which are right here and here. So just the eyeballs. I'm gonna dust with this blue color. So being careful not to, I guess it doesn't really matter, but you don't wanna really mix it with the other color you just did. So I shall dust the eyeballs with blue, all right, and then I missed a few spots with the teal, just on the, uh, like, I guess, I don't know, do octopus have noses? Octopi, is that like the, <laughs> the plural, singular, plural, I don't know. All right, so I'm just going to dust just below the eyes here, okay? So, there we go. So I've done that. Now there's a few like specks of dust in there. So really all you can, all you need to do is just blow in it and it'll get rid of any of the excess there. Okay. So there is the head. So I am going to uh, speed you guys up on a time lapse here and I am going to work on the legs using the, uh, no, not that color. We said these colors, so the teal and I don't even know what I said. I'll figure it out as I go along. So I'm going to speed you guys up and then I'm also going to dust the inside of this guy, which is going to be a lot harder, but you can definitely get your brush in there and you can get a bigger brush. Actually, um, you can definitely go to the dollar store and buy yourself. If you're going to do all one color in here, in one mold, you can just get a bigger brush. And then that way it's way easier for you to do that. So I am going to speed you guys up and uh, I'll get back to you when I've done, when I'm done dusting these molds. Be right back.
All right, everybody. So I have dusted the octopus mold and the um, skull mold. So I used two different colors in this guy and um, I used a much bigger brush, uh, which made it a lot easier to get inside. Um, so it's dusted with, uh, this is dusted with blue and magenta. And then for the octopus, um, I did teal for the head. Uh, and then I dusted the eyeballs with golden. Then I dusted the top half of its legs or tentacles with olive and then the bottom part of its tentacles I dusted it with galaxy and it's funny because galaxy looks like this really beautiful greenish kind of you know bluish turquoise kind of color but when you dust it it looks red but I know it's not going to be red when it's when you know when I take it out because this is the actual color so this is why it's so important to do these little testers here um, and have them on hand because if I dusted that I'd think it's coming out red but uh it's not it's going to come out this darker color all right so they are dusted I shall move this stuff out of the way for now and um i guess i need to figure out how much resin i'm going to need but i like i said i'm probably going to need uh two batches because this isn't going to fit for these two here so let's see here i need as i mentioned uh two parts of a which is the pink label and one part b which is here so this one is the resin this is the resin, and then this is the hardener, all right? So I am going to put my gloves on here, and I will uh, mix my resin, and at some point I will speed this up because I do have to mix it for about uh, four minutes or so. So I am going to speed that process up. So I know I'm going to need a lot of resin, so I'm going to fill, actually it's two to one. I'm thinking of my other resin, which is one to one, but let's see here. Oh, look at this. It even has this on here, which I shall pull off. Oh, there we go. That's how you pull the lid off. So don't throw that out, folks. Keep that. Do not get rid of that. All right. I shall put it here on this paper towel. And should be more prepared. All right, so I need two parts of this A. So for argument's sake, I'm I'm literally I'm gonna get a, a third cup. I normally wouldn't do this, but um, just for you guys, so you guys can see it better, um, and for my sanity, and make sure I don't goof up in the middle of recording this for you guys. I am going to use three cups. All right, so. Uh, I'm not going to fill them up to the tip top because they're not going to fit in this cup. So if you have a bigger cup, so as I mentioned, this is 20 ounces. If you can get a 24 ounce cup or even a bigger cup. So what I like to do is I like to save any cups or containers. So I have this Wendy's cup, um, which is a lot bigger. So I'm actually going to stir it in here. Um, you can save containers from you know, soups or olives and ice cream. And I've got all kinds of containers that I clean and wash and put aside for instances like this, where I need bigger cups um, if I want to make a bigger batch of resin. All right, so, ooh, this is nice and fluid, I like it. So I think I'm going to fill this up to the, top of the line here so i have filled it up to this top rim line right here okay so i need two of those so i can actually instead of wasting a cup see i'm saving a cup i am going to pour that into here all right and i'm going to scrape it and make sure i get all the remnants out of that with my Loli Veffy reusable stick here. All right, so there is one. And let's just put that there for now. OK, 
Okay. And I shall fill my second cup again right to that same line. And in fact, I could actually put part B in the same cup. So I might just do that. And then that way I went from using three cups to one cup. Look at that, see? You know, when I'm doing videos and I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm telling you guys and what I'm doing, my brain doesn't always function and think of the smartest things. Sometimes it does, like right now it just did, right? All right, so there's two parts of A. All right, so I will put this, this is really great actually, always put that back on. And then I always wipe the lid to get any excess resin off, okay? Always wipe the lid and then put the cap back on, all right? And now it's clean as a whistle and I don't have to worry about it. And now we've got part B here, all right? So two parts A, one part B. Ah, the plastic stayed on. All right, there we go. So I can get rid of that. And I shall pop the top off. I'm actually sitting. Can you guys tell I'm sitting down on a stool? It's actually nice to sit. All right. And now I need one part of B. So I shall fill to the line, same line as the other two. Oh, there we go. I will put this back, this back on. All right. I will wipe this make sure it's clean put my lid back on and there we go so if you happen to get resin on the outside of this just get a piece of paper towel spray it with your rubbing alcohol and wipe it down okay keep your stuff clean i tell you because it's just going to make it easier for you when you go to use it the next time and you want clean products all right, you don't want sticky bottles or anything like that, okay? So keep that in mind. Clean your stuff as you go along. It only takes two seconds, all right? Okay, so there we go. Two parts A, one part B, and by golly, I only used one cup. That is awesome, all right? So there we go. And now I am going to spend, oh, this is so fluid. It's awesome. I am going to spend four minutes uh, stirring all of this. So uh, before I do that, I'm just going to read to you guys what the label says on here. It says deep pour casting epoxy resin for river tables. Oh, let me check what time it is. Hold on. Okay, it's 420. All right. Um, for river tables, DIY, jewelry, and art projects, two inch thick pour at a time. Easy to apply, two to one mix ratio, crystal clear epoxy resin, self-leveling, anti-UV, low VOC, and low odor. Um, personally, I really can't smell anything right now. Um, I don't smell anything, but maybe some people have a more powerful nose than I do. Uh, high gloss, water, dirt, and solvent resistant. Non-toxic, FDA approved. All right, so that is what it says on the label. So I am uh, mixing this as I go along and I'm making sure to the bottom of my stick is getting these crevices here at the bottom of the cup. All right, so you gotta make sure, I can't tilt too much, but you see here how I'm getting the little crevices in the bottom of the cup. And then you want to always scrape the side of your cup and then scrape the stick from time to time because there might be some resin here at the top of your stick that's not mixing in with your resin in the cup. So you do that, you scrape your stick, you scrape your sides, all right, and then continue mixing. So I'm gonna speed you guys up and I'll be back after four minutes. Be right back. Okay, so I have stirred this all, and you know what? I gotta say, there are barely any bubbles in this thing. Um, this is great. So, so far, like, 
This is, you saw, I cracked the lid open right in front of you guys here on camera. I haven't even tried this um, resin yet. This is the first time I'm trying it and I'm trying it with you guys in a video. So call me brave, call me crazy, I don't know. But um, this stuff is so watery and so fluid, it's amazing. And the bubbles in here are so minimal. It's great, I love it. All right, so I'm going to use my Crystal Resin Black Pigment Paste. All right, and you can find this on the website. And again, you can save 7% now. So um, I like to give it a stir just to mix it all up because it hasn't been used in a while. All right, so just give it a nice stir, mix it all up. Look at that, it's beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna put some here in this and you wanna put enough so that you make sure um, it's fully opaque. You don't want it to be a transparent black, but you're not supposed to put more than 10% of a paste inside the resin. So I don't even know how much is in here, maybe uh, nine, 18, I don't know, 20, about 27 maybe ounces, a little less because I didn't fill those cups to the top and those were nine ounce cups, right? So I'd say maybe 25, I don't know, I'm just gonna guess because that cup was nine ounces and I almost filled it to the top and there was three of them. So I am going to, and never ever ever put your stick into the resin and then put it back into the paste. Don't ever, ever do that. If you happen to accidentally put your stick in the resin, get a new stick. All right. So I'll put one more blob and then we should be good. I'll just do that. All right. That's it for that. And now let's mix this up. Oh, this is so cool. All right, this is a tall cup, very tall cup. So if you don't have tall cups or big containers, like I said, you can do one batch with smaller cups and then just mix another batch, right? You don't have to do it all in one shot, but for the sake of this video and doing things quicker, I am doing it all in one shot. All right, so mix it well, make sure the clear resin is mixed nice Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Look at that. It's black, but it's just so liquidy. I like it. All right. So um, I am recording this. It's now 4.30 on Sunday. You're watching this Monday. So I'm going to pour this into the mold. And tomorrow morning, I'm going to unmold these and show you guys um, and see how it goes. All right. So... Here is my little octopus and my skull. And I'm going to slowly pour my resin without having a disaster. Can you see? Yeah, you can see, perfect. So I shall pour this without making a mess. Now just all into the tentacles here. Being very careful not to overflow it and it just, you know, leaks out over the edge because you don't want that. All right, so I'm not filling it to the tip top. I'm just filling, you know, the tentacles and then once you fill, I'll show you. So I'm just going around and filling up the tentacles a bit here, like so. This stuff is very fluid, which makes this very easy to do. All right, and I shall come down and around here. I'm trying to concentrate. All right, so now that I've filled the tentacles, I'm going to just simply pour here in the center and it will rise like in all sections, okay? making sure as you're doing that to pay attention so you don't overflow one spot, right? Like, I mean, it should all evenly, you know, rise at the same time. You notice I'm not going back into the tentacles. I'm just sticking to the center here. 
All right, now you don't want to overflow it because when you unmold it or demold it, um, there's gonna be a lip around the bottom of the octopus. So if you wanna leave just a smidge of a, you know, little extra space, I think this is good. I'm just gonna add a little bit more, just a bit. That tentacle needed some. And so does this one actually. Okay, let me see. See, I'm getting really high. I haven't passed the center here, but it's pretty high. So I'm not going to add any more. And now I'm gonna leave it and I'm going to fill this um, skull head up. So I'm gonna experiment and I'm gonna fill, hopefully have enough to fill this whole head up, which I will, yes. Oh, just barely, I'm barely gonna have enough. Oh my gosh, look at this barely, barely made it. I'm gonna scrape out any remnants. I cannot believe that was almost enough. And I don't wanna drip on my new skeleton head, so I'm gonna clean that off. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that that literally almost filled the whole thing. So I'm going to scrape my cup and get every last drop in this skull. I cannot believe that practically just almost filled it up. See, I wish I had a little more. I might I might make a little bit more because I, I wanna fill his bottom of his jaw up. Okay, so I'm gonna do that off camera though. So you don't need to see that part. So I am going to add, make just a little bit more in teeny tiny cups um, just to fill this. And I'm gonna fill my champagne heart because I never got to do that one. So, um, so now that's in and I'm gonna let this sit till tomorrow morning. But in the meantime, I'm going to get my spray bottle here with my alcohol. I'm not gonna spray this one yet because I need to add a little bit more. So basically I'm just gonna do one big squirt or let me, there we go, there, that's it. So one squirt, I literally covered the entire octopus and I can already see the very limited because there aren't that many bubbles in this thing. Uh, very few bubbles popping. So that is it for this portion. I will be back in the morning and I will record the unmolding of these two guys and we'll see how they turned out. So I will be back tomorrow. Hey everyone. All right. So um, it has been um, two and a half days. So I know when I ended that last part, I said, oh, I'll be back in the morning and I'm going to unmold everything. Well, if you saw my previous video with the baby blue, light blue color split, you would have known that I came to my studio the next morning only to touch the octopus and it was still wet. And I was like freaking out. Um, so I contacted the owner at Crystal Res and I said, what's going on? And, you know, why is it still so soft? And well, my mistake. So I'll, let me explain a few things to you before I show you guys the results for all of this. So you saw me make the octopus and the skull mold and I used this casting resin, which was a two to one casting resin. Okay, so you needed two parts of A and one part B. That is what I used in all of these. I even did one of these. Um, so I used that. Little did I know that this two to one casting resin is meant for really, really thick molds. Um, so like, let's say that pyramid mold here, I'll show you, I have one, um, this pyramid mold. So it's meant for um, something super duper thick. It's also meant for like river tables. If you're doing like the live edge kind of river tables and stuff like that. Now, not to say you can't use it in here because clearly I used it and from what I see so far, it's fine. Um, it just takes longer to cure. That's the only thing. So if you don't have patience like I do uh, and you want to do something in a mold and you want it to like cure quickly, um, then this isn't for you. But um, I will say this though, there are literally, literally zero bubbles in this thing, which is amazing so if you can wait the two to three days for it to cure then this stuff is really good so i poured this on sunday afternoon around three four o'clock 
and now I am, it is uh, Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. and it's hard. So Sunday afternoon, Monday afternoon, so about two and a half days, okay? And, and it's good now. So if you can wait and have the patience, this stuff is really, really good because there's like zero bubbles in it, okay? So this is the two to one casting resin meant it's deep casting resin okay so it's meant for deep molds so that's what i used on that now i what i should have used because i had this too because you know i was sent the two to one but i was also sent this this is a one to one casting resin and it's an art and craft epoxy resin super super clear bubble free for art and craft projects Easy to apply one to one mix ratio, self leveling, anti UV, 100% VOC free, odorless, and non toxic. And when it says odorless, I'm telling you it is odorless. And, and I'll give you an example real quickly. When I'm doing resin and I'm top coating my pieces, I use the regular tabletop resin that Crystal Resin has. And I tell you, to me, I'm nose blind to it, but my husband can smell it. And he's like, oh, you know, it, it's, I can smell it. So I was using this stuff, both of them. And my husband came down to the studio and he's like, what are you doing? I said, oh, I'm doing some resin stuff. I said, do you smell anything? And he's like, no, why? He couldn't even smell it. So when it says odorless, it really is odorless. You cannot smell anything. My husband's like, I can't even smell a thing. But when I'm top coating with the regular resin, he can really smell it. So um, it is definitely odorless, FDA approved, BPA free, 40 minute work time. So what I did between Sunday and today, I used this one to one ratio um, to try it out on some other molds. So I tried it out on this mold here, which is um, these molds here from Loli Vefi. And it turned, it was literally, I think I poured it in the afternoon and like early afternoon. And by the evening, it was rock hard. So I was able to unmold it or demold it. I don't know what the proper word is. Unmolding, demolding, whatever, um, by the evening. So it is rock hard and there's not a single bubble in it not one bubble. Um, so I wanted to show you a few other things too. So super quick, um, with this one-to-one -one resin, um, I have these cause I wanted to do a clear one and I wanted to see when I unmold it, uh, if there's going to be any bubbles in it. And I put these really cute, um, fruit slices, dried fruit slices in them. But when I had filled it to the top, the fruit slices were, were floating to the top. So I had to take some of the resin out so that the fruit slices would just stay halfway through and I never got a chance to refill the, the rest. So I'm going to do that later and then I'll show you guys these in my next video. Um, but I wanted to just see with clear resin how crystal clear it'll be with these fruit slices in it. So I'll show you that in the next video. But before I get to this, I want to show you really quickly and so here's here's another one. So these are from Loli Vefi. You can get these cute little, I guess you can call them paperweight molds um, from Loli Vefi. So I did this one last night. And so it is ready to come out. These things are always so much fun to take out. All right. Okay, and you see how I still have a rim from my, my metallic powder all you need is a baby wipe and just wipe it and clean it off so clean any excess powder or anything like that that you may have on your mold just like that see perfectly clean and then I'll flip them back inside out or right side in whatever you want to call it and there my mold is ready for its next use and look it's so pretty. So this is the magenta. This is magenta, the magenta chameleon powder from Let's Resin. So um, let me show you something real quick. You see here how the bottom, it's got these little like extra flap, right? So what you want to do is you take a pair of scissors and you literally just trim it off. And this is how you get a nice clean bottom. 
Just take some scissors or even a knife, but I prefer scissors because I can be clumsy and just literally slice my finger. And there you go, clean, smooth bottom. Look how pretty this is. This is so cute. So these are great for like little paperweights or just stuff like that. So you get three of these, three different designs, three different shapes from Loli Veffy. Now, one thing I wanna show you super quick is you guys all remember these bear molds. I had done them a while back and these are also from Loli Veffy. And I used to just throw extra resin in them until I filled them up. And there would always be bubbles, always, always, always be air bubbles trapped under the bear's neck. For those of you who have these molds, you know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I mean when I say there's always air bubbles trapped under the bear's neck. And so I did two of these yesterday using this one-to-one -one ratio uh, casting resin and look, not a single bubble, not one. I cannot believe this. I'm telling you, every other bear I have ever made with just the regular resin uh, always left air bubbles in this pocket right under the bear's neck. And look at this, not a single air bubble, nowhere, N nowhere. And so I'm really loving this casting resin. So I'm going to demold this little guy too for you guys, because I did this guy last night too, but I did him multicolor. I believe I used blue and I don't even remember what I used either way. These guys, these suckers are hard to take out, but once you get them out without ripping the mold. So just be very careful, just slowly. Ah, not a single air bubble. Look at that. He's so cute. So again, you see how he's got this little frou-frou here at the bottom? You can just take scissors or an X-Acto knife and trim it off. Well, this guy's a little odd, so I might use a knife on this one. But look, no air bubbles. Not a single air bubble under his neck. I'm t it was such an issue, such a problem before. So this casting resin, not only does it cure super duper fast, but it's like bubbleless, completely bubble. Look how cute they are. I love these guys. All right, let's get to the fun stuff. So I demolded this this morning. It was a leftover resin I had. Again, you can see, right, the little, so just basically take scissors and just trim the bottom. There, now it's clean. See that? Look how cute this is. So cute. So I use these for my rings, believe it or not. They're just ring holders. Okay, let's get to the fun stuff. Let's get to the fun stuff. What should I do first? Oh, I don't know what I should do first. I guess we'll do the octopus. Um, <clears throat> this guy is really um, a challenge to uh, demold. So basically, I'm going to speed you guys up at some point. But you want to just... First, start off by loosening around the edges, okay? And when you're pulling it out from the tentacles here, you have to be super careful that you don't snap a tentacle off or anything like that. So just be super careful when you are demolding if you have this octopus mold, which I highly suggest you get because it is just so cool. Uh, I love this. The possibilities with this are endless. You could literally put shells in it with clear casting resin, um, do a, like a beach theme on it with some shells or something. There's so many things you could do. All right, I don't know if I'm gonna speed you guys up or not, but I seem to be doing well so far. Um, maybe I'll speed you guys up just a bit, hold on. All right, so I've got him out and I got him out with no problems and he's still a little, a little pliable. So if I just leave this in for maybe another day, um, they say three days is best to let it sit and cure. So again, if you have the patience and the time to let your piece sit for three days, then by all means, use the two to one casting resin because um, it's it's really good and it doesn't have, well, this doesn't have odor or bubbles either. So whatever, both are good. 
Um, so let's flip them over. I haven't even seen this yet, clearly. So let's flip it over. Ready? Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Look how cool this is. Oh, I love it. So his eyes didn't end up gold because I ended up dusting them blue first and then I put gold. So that's why his eyes aren't gold. But I love how he's green and then the tips of his tentacles are blue. Oh, this is so neat. I love him. Wow. This is, and look, not a single bubble and not a single flaw. Nothing. Um, I'm really liking these chameleon powders from Let's Resin. Super cool. Okay, so I'm going to clean my mold after. But I'm super excited about that. All right. And now let's do the skull. Here's my champagne heart. Remember I told you guys I had one heart that I hadn't done. So the champagne, that was the color of champagne. So that turned out really good. All right. So I've never used this guy before. So let's see how easily or how hard it'll be to uh, take this mold off. I'm hoping it'll be okay. You got to just be really careful not to rip the mold, right? So the best thing to do is, I would guess, is just to roll it off. Yeah, there we go. Roll it off. I've seen people like put dish soap in the mold with water, but I quite frankly really don't want to have to deal with washing it with soap after. So I'm just going to um, peel it off like this. Just roll it right off. Oh my gosh. Let me flip it back the right way. That was super easy, actually. Oh, I got to look at him first. Oh, my gosh. I love it. I love it. This is so cool. So I believe I put magenta in the front of his face. And then I put the, um, I think it was purple on the back. I can't remember. But, oh, my gosh. He's so cute. Look at his eyes. Hello. Why am I so excited about this stuff? This is so crazy. It's perfect. Oh my gosh. Why am I so excited about a skull? You know who would love this? My sister-in-law. Melissa, if you're watching, I know you would absolutely love this. Okay, so there you go. Look at I love this powder from Let's Resin. All right, so there you go all done look at all the great stuff i made um with that and of course i still have these which i'll show you in the next video um i just have to pour some more in there so i'll show you those in the next <clears throat> excuse me in the next video um there you have it i'm so glad i was able to get this video out and show you guys i was starting to freak out on monday morning when my resin still was very um fluid like um so just a recap, because it was like three days ago and I don't remember everything since Sunday. Um, you have your two to one casting resin, okay? Meant for deep pores, but clearly you can still use them for regular, but it's just gonna take you uh, a long time. It's gonna take about two and a half to three days for it to fully cure. And then you have your one to one casting resin. And I actually really like this stuff better because it literally cures um, within, I don't know, eight to 10 hours, uh, or just if you pour at night, the next morning, it'll be rock hard. So recap resin, you can now save 7% off, uh, resin using code Canela seven. That is a discount moving forward. Um, so I, uh, we have upped it from the original 5%. It is now 7%. So you can get 7% off site-wide off Crystal Resin, Canela 7. Loli Vefi products. This is Loli Vefi. Um, the hearts are Loli Vefi. These um, paperweights are Loli Vefi. Uh, the bears are Loli Vefi. You can get 10% off your uh, all your Loli Vefi products um, on the website using code Canela 10. Uh, Let's Resin, okay? Uh, this is Let's Resin, sorry, the skull is Let's Resin, and the chameleon powders, 
and a whole bunch of other stuff I'm going to be getting soon from them, which will be in upcoming videos. Um, you can save 5% using code, I believe it's Canela. All that will be in the description below. Everything is in the description below. Um, and then every all, all the other discounts I mentioned at the very beginning part of this video. So I really hope you enjoyed this really, really long tutorial. I'm sorry it took so long. Um, it's ridiculous how long it took, but it needed to be done. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. Uh, I will do my best to answer all your questions. And uh, if you are on Amazon or you shop on Amazon, which who doesn't shop on Amazon, please check out the Amazon links in the description below. If you simply click on the Amazon link and just shop like you normally would, it actually helps my channel and helps me. Um, so if you wouldn't mind clicking on those Amazon links anytime you shop, even if it's like for soap or, you know, just any everyday household items, it doesn't have to be art items. Just click on the link and it'll take you to Amazon um, and it helps me um, very much. So I appreciate that. Um, and that's it. Um, I hope I'm not forgetting anything, but if I am, again, uh, you know, questions in the comments below. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. And until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.